An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A sermon. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, who we go through bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your own adult style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. I have a simple, very simple, basic uh, math equation that clarifies what is actually positive and what is negative. Viewing negativity negatively is negative. Viewing negativity as a positive opportunity for positive change is positive. So subtraction is always subtraction. You're never gonna you're you're never gonna have 10 minus 8 equals 30. That doesn't work. Subtraction is always subtraction. Addition is always addition. 2 plus 20 is never going to be 1. <laughs> right. right. Well, the well, interesting thing is in multiplication that when you multiply a positive times a negative, you get the negative. But if you multiply a positive and a positive, you get positive. Or a negative and negative, you get a positive. You follow? Yeah, it's 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 basically almost almost a, a way of saying that if you try to cover over the negative with a positive and ignore it, that you're going to end result with a negative. Exactly. Because if negative plus negative is positive, then that means you're facing the negative. You're you're being productive. It's a positive thing. Right. Whereas if you try to ignore the negative, you're just going to get more negative. So negative times positive, in other words, oh, another light, oh, shut the dark. That always equals negative. Right. So even the math points it out. Mm-hmm. Although I can think of two exceptions to that middle one. Negative one times negative one is still negative. Negative one times zero is still negative. No, it's not zero. Negative one multiplied by nothing is unchanged. Zero is nothing. But still, <laughs> anything multiplied by zero is still zero. I'm saying negative, but negative one multiplied by nothing, so it's not being multiplied at all, remains as negative one. Because you're starting out with negative one, you're not multiplying it by anything at all, so there's no action being taken. So it remains negative one because no action was taken to change it. I can see what you're saying, but it's not mathematically the answer. Well, that doesn't mathematically make sense. <laughs> no, I get it. I agree with you. This is why I say I see what you're saying, but it's like mathematically that doesn't that's not what the answer would be. <laughs> well, I fail to see that because mathematically that does seem to be the answer. 
even though mainstream might say, oh no, it's not just for no apparent reason. Right. No, I, yeah, no, because I can see what you're saying. Because I remember when I was a little kid, and they taught me how to do multiplication. They gave me little blocks, you know, so I could see how you're saying, like, you know, this number, number one block, you know, you don't multiply it with any other blocks. It's still it, one block. It, it remains the same. Right. So, which is why I say I agree with you, but according to the mathematical laws, anything times zero is still zero. It depends on the order, though. Because if you take zero, in other words, you start it out with nothing, and you multiply it by one, you've still got zero, because zero one time is still zero. But if you start out with one, and you multiply that zero times, you still have one, because you've taken no action. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Now, if I have one camera, and I multiply that by nothing whatsoever, what am I left with? <laughs> one, one camera. camera. <laughs> now, if I have zero cameras, and I multiply the lack of existence of the camera by anything, I still have a lack of existence of the camera because there was nothing to multiply in the first place. Right. So, really, if you want to look at it in mathematically as opposed to dogmatically and trying to stick to an established scientific religious perception, it depends on which number you put first. Plug it into a calculator. Yep, the calculator agrees with you there, but it's weird. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it, I, it, I, I see what you're saying. It, it, it makes more sense. Saying, yeah, it's basically saying that if I have one apple and I take no action whatsoever on that apple, that that apple is going to magically disappear because of multi-dimensional and visible unicorns and fairy dust. As I said, I see exactly what you're saying. Common sense would say that you are right. All I'm saying is that by whatever law, rule, or whatever they did, yeah, and that's how it is. <laughs> yeah, that makes no fucking sense. Right. <laughs> but okay. If I have one apple, and I multiply it by zero, so I've taken no action on that apple. I've not multiplied that by any other number of apples, but I've started with my one apple. Then magically, multi-dimensional unicorns are going to sprinkle fairy dust on that apple and make it disappear. Because or, one apple times zero is suddenly no apples. <laughs> or you could take that apple and imagine that zero is a giant mouth or a black hole. It'd be like, apple and black hole. <laughs> 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 yeah, but nothing in and of itself does not constitute a quantum singularity. If you have no, if you have no black holes, then how can the absence of a black hole be sucked down a black hole that isn't there? How do you know it's not there? Because it could be already sucked down. So one black hole times zero black holes is no black holes because it got sucked down the black hole that isn't there. <laughs> so the black hole that was there just got sucked into the black hole that isn't there. Wow, that's the fucking airy-fairy fucking math. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's just great. <laughs> should do a video on that one day and make fun of that. We should. That'd be funny. Yes. Okay, math. Let's, let's get this straight. One apple 
I have one apple. Let's see. Hold it in my hand. It's one. I got it, right? Verified. One apple. Multiplied by zero. Which means there was no multiplication of that apple taking place. You know, there's no other apples that appeared on the scene here. So I still have that one apple. I've multiplied it by nothing. No action taking place whatsoever. But in so doing, invisible, multidimensional unicorns will come, sprinkle pixie dust on that apple, and make it vanish so that my end result is no apple. You know it would be actually really funny? Can we please, please, please multiply Obama by zero? <laughs> <laughs> Can we please? Is it really that simple? Let get him out of office, no problem. We take Obama and multiply him by zero, which will end result in zero Obamas. Oh my god, this is better than assassination. <laughs> we'll just use math on him. <laughs> there you go. That's how we'll get rid of Obama. We'll use math on him. We'll just multiply him by zero, and that's it. He'll be gone, problem solved. Then we could do that with the rest of the fucking globalist elites. Multiply him all by zero, and they will just vanish from reality. Multi-dimensional unicorn pixie dust. Yeah, why didn't we ever think of it before? There's the solution. We could end war and genocide and corruption. Just multiply it all by zero. It'll be fucking gone. Oh my goodness, that's too funny. That's way too funny. <laughs> you know, seeing as Skype does record conversations, I could make this BSEC episode retroactively with your permission. Of course! I have no problem with it. I mean, you know, just the section, of course. I mean, it's not like we've talked about anything personal or private, so... It doesn't matter to me. I mean, other than my third testicle and second dick, you know, I mean, nothing private beyond that. I'm kidding. Right. But yeah, that's that's great. That is that is how we will defeat the globalists. We will multiply them by zero. That is fucking awesome. Perfect solution. My God! Like, how, how do we implement this? You have to find people who understand math. You know, so they have to be relatively okay in the head. And how would we deploy this mathematical weaponry? Uh, Mass Effect. Um. Mass Effect isn't that a game? That a book? Yes, it is actually. Uh. Um, that was a crack at mass effect. No, I know. Probably do it to the nth degree. But yeah. What, what would this mathematical weapon look like, and how would it be deployed? It would look like a Chinese star for the multiplication. For no apparent reason. <laughs> a Chinese throwing star. That's what it looks like. But how are we going to get that to the unicorns? Maybe your goats can take it to the unicorns. <laughs> I think technically deer are a little bit more closely related to unicorns. So you might have to like bribe deer with a bunch of apples. Be like, you see this apple? I will multiply it by zero and make it disappear. Or if you tell your unicorn friends, you can have all these apples. You do that. I no longer know what to say on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I too fucked up. <laughs> For a split second, I had you speechless. That the, moment was priceless. The topic has me speechless.
I can just see it now. We go to like, you know, Obama is making a speech in front of people, you know, asking questions, stuff like that. Be like, someone be like, Mr. Obama, I have a math question. Fucking disappears off the stage. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! We did it! Yeah! Oh, that'd be priceless. Now, the trick would be to get out of there before the Secret Service put blackheads on your faces. No, that would see, be the but, but the Secret Service wouldn't know you did anything because it was all just math. They'd be standing there like, uh, where'd you go? <laughs> all that person did was give them a math problem and disappeared. <laughs> As Putin's unicorns chuckle Sovietly. <laughs> Welcome to New Ager Math. Oh, that's just 